what's going on guys welcome back to another video today we have a pretty special video um as you guys can see in the beginning clips we have a new boat and um it's actually right here this right here is a 2021 ranger this thing is uh pretty nice so basically right here we have a ranger rt 78 which is basically a 17 foot boat and um it has some gray carpet in here i wanted some carpet i've always wanted carpet in the boat this is a big upgrade from the old 2006 bass tracker we had so we upgraded from the bass tracker because we needed a few things we needed some more storage um we also got a bigger motor back here we're gonna go over here in a second we also needed a graph which we, we have a graph up there we're gonna go more in depth here in a second but this is the uh this is the rig they all all red this is like a uh, darker red than the bass tracker what do you think it's like a little candy red and um got some gray black in it got all kinds of cool colors we got some gray seats some dark gray all kinds of stuff in here we're about to hop in the boat here in a second and we are going to go over some of the key points in this thing and uh let's go ahead and get in there all right so right here we have the the best part you know the motor this is what gets the boat going and uh that's what we need whenever we go fishing so right here we have a mercury this is a 75 horsepower this is an upgrade from the tracker we had like a 60 and uh this thing is a lot bigger and it sounds a lot meaner than the old bass tracker but this is a 2021 we had a 206 bass tracker so it's definitely going to sound and look a lot better and uh, it just looks way bigger even though it's only like 15 more than what we had so um yeah we have the old murk back here this thing is going to be very key to getting to our fishing spots and um yeah that basically is it how big does this look to the side it looks pretty pretty big right so right here underneath the motor we have the compartment little slot where everything's at the batteries and stuff we'll go ahead open this thing up and uh take a little peek inside so we have some batteries for the trolling motor and all that kind of you know the gist for that stuff and then we have this thing right here we have probably the gas thing in here somewhere 21 gallon gas thingy right there everything that basically you need for the boat to run is back here in this little back part and then you got the wires that just run throughout the boat that seems very complicated but we have all the good stuff right here that you don't see all the time but basically runs the boat and uh all the technical things that i don't know so yeah all that is down here in this compartment and uh yeah let's move on to the uh side compartments right here all right so right here we both have two little ones on each side so this one right here is actually used for a little ice chest you know you put your drinks in here whenever you're on the boat we have some ice in here some drinks for whenever you need one boom right there next one we have is currently the next one is currently empty right now but once we start to load up some tackle in this thing that's where it's all going to be actually this one has some snacks in it i didn't even know that but yeah these are two little things for some drinks some snacks maybe some little tackle boxes leftover tackle you can just throw them back there so um yeah let's move on to this one right here this one is pretty key this is the live well so whenever you catch some fish you can uh throw them in here and they can live and not die so that's that's pretty important it's got a little divider so if you want to get bait fish or like a different species you can put them on different sides i i bet you could probably take that out and just have one big one but um yeah we have a nice little live well right here it has the whole aeration feature in there all that kind of stuff boom next we have a little bass boat seat right here we took off the one in the front because we want to have more maximum deck room but right here we have a ranger little seat this thing is uh, pretty nice look at the colors on that we got some red some gray dark gray a little bit of silverish i guess and um they're pretty comfy i kind of feel like i'm in a spaceship right now you know like i could go launch around and uh the merch is going to push me to the moon and by the moon i mean my fishing spots so we have that right here we have three seats this is a four person boat and um basically the same color coordination as this one up here also it has let me hop down here it also has some storage underneath for like life jackets and that kind of stuff paddles the lights life jackets all the stuff you need in your boat fire extinguisher a paddle in case you break down hopefully we won't break down because this is a brand new boat and that would be very sad and disappointing but you never know next we have 
the cockpit right here. So right here, we have the old cockpit. And we also have a horn. We didn't have the horn on the last one. I'm pretty excited about this. <laughs> but we have the steering wheel. This thing is, um, it feels like a car steering wheel. It also has this really cool chrome on it. It's pretty fancy, to be honest. We have a nice little low rinse right here, cover. This is like the uh, navigation kind of thing. This is um, kind of small, but we put a lot into the front and the main fishing portion. This, if you know where you're going, you don't really need it that much, you know? But I guess exploring lakes, you could just throw some graphs and graph the water out around. Next, we have the fuel that shows you how much gas you have so you don't get stranded. That's pretty key. Then we have how fast you can go. As you guys can see, this goes up to 255. No, I'm just kidding, it goes to 55. Probably won't reach that, who knows, unless you're just gassing it. But we can't, we gotta kinda break this thing in since it's new. So the old motor's back there. There's some way you gotta do it. I think you gotta go slow and then maybe just start increasing it. I'm not sure, we'll figure it out. Next we have the bilge pump. This is basically to save you if you start sinking. Then we have the aerators right here manual auto whichever one you throw it on there's also like a little open slash close thing down there i guess you could probably go with these two they work together next we have over here i know you guys can't really see it but there's interior lights we didn't have interior lights on the bass tracker but apparently we do now i think one is actually like right under there um we haven't really taken this thing out night this is the first day we're going to be taking it out but you guys will see that in the next video but we have all this stuff right here you know, you got the RPM, you got the trim up here, and you also have the horn. We already we already went over that. Then you got the keys, kill switch, throttle, automatic. Hit this bad boy and go. Also, there's a cup holder right there. It's pretty pretty fancy. Just thought I'd point that out for you guys. Also, in the uh, passenger seat, there's also a cup holder. Pretty fancy, you know. That's how you know you've made it when you have a cup holder in your boat. And then you got a nice little handle right here for in case things get intense and you just start, you know, going. There's a leaf in the boat. Can't have that happen, you know. Then right here, you have a uh, nice little step to up to the front deck. But the step also doubles as a little storage compartment. Um, I'm not sure what you could probably put down here. You know, maybe some soft plastics that could just line across. There's lots of opportunities. It's not too big right here, but it does go in a little bit on each side. And you could probably load up a good amount of tackle right there. That's probably what that will be used for, maybe some soft plastics. All right, next up, we have something that is a big upgrade from the Bass Tracker. Um, that is a rod locker. We had one on the Bass Tracker. It held like three rods, I think. And then there was like a homemade one on like the other side. So maybe four or five rods. They kind of went in a little sketchy. But this one right here is on the side, which I like because it's not in the middle. So you don't have to stab everyone when you're getting it out. And the seats also aren't in the way, so you have lots of room to pull rods out of here. This is a eight compartment, so you can fit about eight rods in here. And then one good thing about this is whenever you have more rods on the deck, you can come up here and just lock them in with this little rod strap. So you can probably carry a ton of rods on this thing. In this rod locker, it can hold like eight foot rods, I think. So we have lots of room for all of our sizes. And it also has a little thing over here that straps in the bottom of the rod so they don't just kind of hang down. And also the reels can sit right there. And uh, basically this thing is really nice. It's carpeted down there, has lots of room for your rods. Also, this thing has a little lock on there. So whenever you keep your rods in there and you go somewhere, you can just lock that thing up and you're not gonna have anyone steal it, which is key. Next up, we have the middle compartment, which is actually my favorite. You know, one key thing we needed was lots of storage. And that is exactly what we have right here. This is the little main compartment, which has all of your all your stuff in there. And uh, one of my favorite things about it is it has lots of room. Um, I almost can fit in this thing completely. Let's just say that, you know, not not really, but like kind of, you know, there's lots of room. So whenever, you know, it starts raining or you're just putting your tackle down here, you can just get in here with it, you know, kind of, right? I'm almost in there. Not a lot of head room, let's just say that. I got a big head. But yeah, there's basically room for all your tackle down there. Tackle little boxes, and I have a tackle bag that I throw all my stuff in. So there's lots of room down there, and uh, it's 
pretty good. We need lots of storage. We didn't have much room last boat, so yeah. All right, so the next compartment is right here. It's a little bit smaller than this one, and um, right here it has a nice little thing down in, so you can just stack some more tackle. Try what this is gonna be, since we do have the ice chest that's back there. This will just probably be some smaller tackle boxes, but we have lots of room, and uh, that's all we need up in the front. It's lots of room for tackle. So next up, on the sides, there's four of them. There's the little anchor things where you tie up ropes to um, you know, dock up to a dock or something. And these things are actually really cool because they're down right now. And whenever you wanna use them, you just pull them up and tie your stuff up. And it's just an easy way to push them back and have some storage that's not in the way, basically. So you can just store these things back into their little socket and they're not in the way whenever you're loading or trying to get off and you don't trip and fall over them. So that's pretty cool. Next we have the old trolling motor. This is a 45 pound thrust. This is a Minn Kota, little five speed. We also have this thing with the old mounted foot pedal, which is actually good because our last one liked to move around a lot and I couldn't like stand in the middle and not fall down whenever I hit it. So this one's gonna be great because it's, it's mounted, so it can't really move. You come up here, you got a nice little cup holder, you know, some places to put your pliers and your, your basically your line cutters and stuff. You got the old wire on the trolling motor to the transmitter down there, which comes over here to this Hummingbird Helix 7. Now, I was supposed to read the instructions, but I'm not a big instruction kind of guy. So um, if you guys know anything about this, that some cool settings, some cool features, drop them down in the comments because I have no idea. We're basically just going to mess around with this thing today, see what happens. But we do have the transmitter down there, which is a big upgrade from ours because we didn't have a graph, which is a really big key to fishing. So. Boom, Hummingbird Helix 7 right here. Now, whenever you come up here, we also have a cup holder. So you can put your drink right there, pick that thing up while you're driving the boat. And uh, we also have the nav lights right here. So you can flip these things on. This is the little nav light holder for the front. Then you have the trim, so you can trim down the motor in the back. And uh, that's pretty much it for the front right here. And then we, you know, we have the old cockpit right here. This is the windshield. It's kind of small, but I like it like that because it just gives it that nasty, mean looking look. And it also has some red sparkles right here in the old front. And then it says Ranger Boats down here. And uh, this, thing is, this thing is nice, all right? We also have a little rod strap down there for holding in rods. And this thing is carpeted out. And as you guys can tell, we took off the front chair because we want full deck room. And I have a few stickers on the way that we're gonna put up here some sponsor stickers on the carpet. And we're just gonna deck this thing out completely, basically. And uh, yeah, this is the new boat. Um, can't wait to catch lots of fish on this thing. Maybe even pull in a 10 pounder, my first double digit. We're gonna be trying to hit some new lakes too and just explore with this thing, have a nice little traveling boat. All right, so this is the new Ranger 2021 that we have just gotten. Um, this thing is going to be very key to catching fish. Big on the channel. We're going to be taking this thing out a lot probably because it's brand new. We found some few fish and some good spots and we're about to just take this thing around and do all kinds of fishing. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to drop a sub. And if you guys have any name ideas, because we kind of got to name this thing. Um, and also if you guys have any ideas of what we should do with the new boat, let me know down in the comment section and I will see you guys in the next one.